For at TV, the world is thinking. The last slide was genetic evolution. That is no question, for instance, that the expansion of our brains was tied for whatever reason into our ability uh, of some, organ some of us to outreproduce others. There was natural selection was functioning there. Our genome was changing uh, very rapidly. Uh, but fairly early on, about two and a half million years ago, uh, about the time of Homo habilis, we began to leave the first signs of our culture. Now, culture, which is non-genetic information, which is passed on from generation to generation, uh, is not unique to human beings. Uh, but in quantity, it's unique. In other words, we have a scale of culture unknown in any other organism. Chimps have culture, some birds have culture. That is, again, non-genetic information that's passed on from generation to generation. But one of the things we, although we have a very nice picture of how evolution occurred genetically, we still don't, there's no, not yet been a Darwin for cultural evolution. We know a lot about it, but we don't really understand the mechanisms. We don't really know how to change it. For instance, if, if you have a problem with, a, with an antibiotic, for instance, and you're getting resistance to it, it's evolving, uh, a, a geneticist can tell you what to do about it. Uh, but if you have a problem like a small-brained president uh, and you want to know how to do something about it, there's no cultural evolution who can say, ah, the thing you have to do is X, Y, and Z uh, to change it. And I'll come back to that because I think the biggest problem humanity is facing today uh, is fundamentally uh, a behavioral problem uh, where we don't know uh, how uh, actually to go about changing it. It's a problem in cultural evolution, and if there's any time in the last uh, hour and a half, I'll hit on that. This, the thing to notice here, though, uh, is that culture evolved at a very slow rate at first and then accelerated. Uh, notice this, this is not a linear scale. You know, it's two and a half million years ago and 50,000 years ago. So the first, the, the, the Olduan toolkit uh, was around for a vicinity of 800,000 years, followed by the Acheulean, which was a, uh, over a million years. Uh, and they went the, the very slow cultural change. Now, there may have been other cultural changes in records that haven't been left, but nonetheless, this is a fairly good picture of uh, an accelerating rate of change, and it really picked up about 50,000 years ago. Another big controversy about the big leap forward. Jared Diamond may have talked to some of you about this at one time or another. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if you think that just 50,000 years ago we were still concentrating on stone tools and bone needles, and then imagine uh, if you were an anthropologist coming to the remains of Earth, say, 10,000 years from now, and you uh, had only the historical record that you got by excavating, and you excavated uh, a site from, say, 1300 AD and a site from today, what would you assume? You would have assumed that organisms of an entirely different genus had made these things. In other words, the difference between the culture the artifacts, the non-genetic information which was possessed by people uh, in 1300 is just incredibly different from today, whereas here you could take people uh, sites a million years apart and imagine it's exactly the same organism. So uh, cultural evolution has been accelerating at an incredible rate, and unfortunately we don't understand about it uh, as much as we'd like to.